Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I just wanna give you guys a quick look at Amebian. This is a dedicated Amiga emulator for your Raspberry Pi, and it runs really, really well. This is a Raspberry Pi 3 here, and today I'm just gonna demo some HDF games. I'm gonna be set up with the A1200 Amiga, Kickstart ROM 3.1, set my RAM to eight megabytes here, and I've left slow, fast, Z3 fast, and RTG to none. We don't need floppy drives because we're going to be using an HDF image. Now if I go in here, we can choose a different game, but I'm going to try Rough and Tumble. Press OK. Input, I'm using a Sony PlayStation 3 controller. Now don't kill me guys, I do not have an Amiga USB controller or a modified Amiga controller that I can use with this. So right now we're just going to try this game out. And later on this week, I will be making a tutorial on how to run this. These are HDF games, and they run really well. Uh, one of my viewers is really good at this stuff, and he hooked me up. So this is the Pi 3, and it runs amazing. I'm not sure how it's going to run on the Pi 1 or the Pi 2. The Pi 2 should handle it fairly well. Um, but like I said, this is a Pi 3, so I'm not sure. I haven't tried it on my Pi 2 yet. This operating system is awesome, and I was actually able to install Workbench 3.1. Oh! Really awesome game. You can just press F12 on your keyboard or you can set up a key on your controller to exit. Let's go back to my hard drive and we'll find a different game to run. Let's go with Turrican 3. Now I tried Turrican 2, but I'm having visual glitches. A lot of graphical glitches are going on when I start the game. I've tried all kinds of settings and I'm not sure what the deal is. But Turrican 3 runs really well. And I have, no, I don't have auto fire on, do I? No. You don't want to have auto fire on with a lot of these games. Because some games require you to hold your fire button in order to do things, like shoot my grappling hook there. If you have auto fire on, it won't work, and you'll be stuck for a while trying to figure out how to get past some place. I like that triple shot. So yeah, super, super good emulation here. Now I've never tried this on the original Amiga, but I can only imagine that this is running at full speed. It runs super smooth. I don't notice any graphical glitching or slowdown at all. Let's back out of here and try one more game. Let's see here. A lot of these I've never played before, so I'm not sure what's good. I know all the Turricans are good. And I'm really liking that rough and tumble game there. Let's go with Ninja Warriors. Oh, 
All right. Is that Fidel Castro? Oh, and I'm using all of my ninja stars up. Come on. Yeah, so I'm not sure if this game had music or not, but I don't hear any music. Sound effects are there, but no music at all. It could just be that this game didn't have music. And I'm done. So before we get out of here, I just want to show you real quick the Workbench 3.1 that I have installed here. We'll go to Configurations, Bench, Load. But I did have something here that I messed up on. It won't load if I have slow RAM on. So right now I'm working on setting up my AGA game so I can install them in here. But this works really well. I'm surprised it installed. And this is just classic Workbench 3.1. I would like to install like Amiga OS 3.9 or something like that. But I really love the look of this. Go to System. Everything's here. I can load up a separate drive to run my WHD load games that I already have installed on the SD card. But for now, I just wanted to give you a quick look at this. It does run very well. And I'm loving this emulator. This is really awesome to have it. Just a dedicated Amiga emulator on a Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm probably going to take my Pi 2. I have an extra one laying around. Install this and just have a dedicated Amiga emulator. I really do enjoy playing these older games very, very much. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to see an install tutorial on this, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try my hardest to get one made this week. Probably going to do it anyway because I really do enjoy this. But uh, I could also do a workbench install if you guys are up to it, if you want me to. It works really well within Amibian, but um, I'm on the Pi 3. I'm not sure how it's going to perform on the Pi 2. Like always, thanks for watching.